Hey guys, Retro Reviews here again with another SH Figure Arts video review, and this time I'm going to be doing Kamen Rider Denno in his sword form. So, here we have Denno, looking all nice and awesome. We're gonna go ahead and get him out of the way so we can take a look at his box. We have right here Masked Rider Denno sword form, the Denno logo on the window. Nice picture of Denno standing right there with the Rider Pass. Uh, blue fin sticker for warning choking hazard. Tomashi Nations, Bandai, Kamerida Deno Sword Foam. Um, up here in the corners where we have the Toei logo and the TV show logo. Over here, window with the uh, train rails for Masked Rider Deno Sword Form. Same goes on over here and on the top. Back here we have some awesome pictures of Denno. We have him doing his Ore Sanju pose. Him holding the rider pass. Him doing the intermediate part of his pose. Him with the Den Gasher on his shoulder. Him slashing the Den Gasher and then with the awesome, awesome effect part that he comes with. So, go ahead and look at Denno. Here he is, very, very extravagant figure. He looks just absolutely amazing. Go ahead here, we see compound eyes underneath that, those giant red lenses, along with the gold stripe, and his jaw, which is modeled after a train. His chest armor, which looks pretty cool. And back here, the armor which ends up getting used for um, axe form. This is pretty cool. They have the detail there. The uh, holsters on the side are pretty well detailed, as well as the belt itself. With all the detailing on it that the deluxe version has, except for the uh, Deno Deno system tampo on the top. But there we have the window with red for sword form, and then we have the four colored buttons, the no entry line, and the blue arrow for the ticket swiping. Then the red thigh pads for when he's in sword form, and then all the way down here, silver boots. So there we have that. Articulation-wise, he is just as articulated as any other figure. He has the neck that allows him to arch his head back or side to side, look down and up, and turn his head from right to left. He's got these shoulders, which the uh, armor here is actually attached on a hinge for the shoulder. So, But it is still a universal shoulder that has that. And then a uh, bicep swivel, double jointed elbow, triple jointed wrist. We'll get the tin gasher out of here. So he's got that. His waist and stomach cannot really go very far because he is armored. So that's about as much as you're getting out of it. But he can't go from side to side pretty far. Which is good. Over here for the hips, he does have the type 1 hips. So, which in which do work pretty well. And then the, uh, of course, the thigh swivel, double jointed knee, and the universal ankle joint that we saw earlier on New Deno and uh, Red Hawk, who also had it. And of course the toe on the hinge, or on the, the hinged toe. So, that's the possibility that Deno brings to the field. Now let's look accessory count, which is rather awesome. So we do have the Den Gasher which is 
really, really well done. I'm going to get him out of the frame for a little bit so we can focus on the sword. So, very nice metallic red blade painted on there. And then a metallic silver and metallic blue on the handle for all that. Then we also have the Dengasher with the sword blade out. Oops, that's the wrong blade. So it could come out for displaying it as it would show in the show for his final attack. The Rider Pass, which is just as detailed as New Denos. Along with the empty Dengasher holder slots, he comes with full Dengasher holder slots. So that way you can pose him doing either way. Um, for hands, he does come with the uh, splayed open hands, which is this one right here. So he comes with those, comes with default fists, comes with holding hands for both sides which decided to hit the floor and then he comes with the uh, uh, rider pass holding hand and the thumbs up hand for his or a Sanju pose then he comes with this this and these pieces to form the final attack effect which will finish off the review by showing how to assemble that so my deno has a hard time wanting to give up his hands and put new ones on so we're gonna get this out of the way as soon as this wants to go on hang on I don't need to show on camera how to plug a hand in, especially when it's being this much of a pain in the ears. But, come on. There we go. So now we have that. Now we're going to take the. Uh, not that Den Yasher, the other Den Yasher with the blade coming out. And we're going to take this piece and plug it in like so, or nope, like this. And then, alright, so. So then go ahead and connect this piece on now. So it looks like that. And then these pieces are individually marked one, two, or three. So I'll see if it shows up on camera at all. Alright, that one's got one dot on it, so that's one. Then on the base down here, there's a hole for number one, which is right there, which is a square peg. So, hang on. I think it goes in like this. No. It goes in the other way. I know. Let's consult the instructions. Because it's a lot easier, I found out before, that when it comes to putting this effect part together to plug the pieces in on the blade so let 
Let's see. Where's the piece that I had before? Is this the same one? No, that is number three. Um, number one would be this guy, right? Yep. So, I have the blade facing this way, as you can see with the line on the rail, that going up, and then over on this side, take the little post that is on here and plug it into the middle slot, the second slot right there. So it looks like that. And then it should come around here and then Oh, that's number two that I'm holding on to. So, then that leaves this piece to be number one. Yep. My bad. So, you plug that piece in the middle. And then, Just plug it into the base right there. So we got that one starting. And then this one, number two, will go, will go do, 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 right here, underneath number one. And then, and then there's that. So then, Number two has a circle peg, which we'll just plug in right, right there. And then last but not least, we have number three, which will come around to the other side and plug in. Which we'll just plug in right there. And then this one has a rectangular peg, which will just fit in just like that. So that's what the effect piece looks like when it's done, which is awesome to say the least. So all we need left to do is to get Deno to hold it. As long as his thumb is not getting in the way, so. And there we go. Now we just gotta stand him up and show him being awesome with an awesome effect part. So there we have Deno. Now, if he'll stand. He doesn't have middle feet, so it's a little bit more difficult. So, all in all, excellent figure. Very awesome. Very expressive with the effect part even. Not used to seeing a Heisei era writer coming with an effect part, but eh, it works. And it looks pretty badass, so. If you like Deno, like. Well, I like Deno, so. If you like Deno, go ahead and pick this guy up. He is pretty good, cool. He's a little bit pricey. I think he's like $40 on eBay, but that's kind of his base price, so. If you can find them for a good price, go ahead and pick them up, and 
that's all I gotta say for this guys is retro reviews and I hope you guys like this video review and I'll see you again next time.